Yo guys, so FIFA 20 is only a few days away from us now, and that means that you guys will start thinking about your brand new teams, about your brand new foot champions teams, and about what you want to build towards the future. Now on websites like Footed, Footways, Footbin, all these websites, you can start building your starter teams, which I would recommend you to do, because having a good idea about what you want to build early on is quite a good idea. However, you guys may be thinking, oh wait, but I don't know what's the best league, what's the best nation. So in this video, I've got you guys the best players in your price range for every single position. So goalkeeper to left back to right mid to striker to CM to centre forward every single position has been done here for you guys um, other than left wing back because who actually does that so hopefully this video does help you guys out so if it does please smash a like button subscribe if you are new we are getting closer to 200,000 subscribers I think October time I want to hit 200k so if we could do that that'd be absolutely incredible and if you guys do want more videos like this because I don't really do videos like these that often then let me know down below what you want to see next so with that said let's get into the free best OP players in every single position in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. So this video will be based on three price ranges. There'll be the cheap option, there'll be the mid option, and there'll be the elite option. So cheap is basically anywhere between your 10k or under, so 1k, 10k. These are players that you should ideally be able to get for this kind of price range after the first week of the game. So let's say late September. So don't consider the first day. There may be some players in a cheap category that will be like maybe like 15k around there. But after like let's say early October, early September, these players should go down to about a 10k kind of range. This should be relatively like realistic uh, for the next few months. So based on the ranges, so some players that's in mid tier should be a mid tier price for quite a long time. And elite tier are the elite players, the biggest players is the best players in the position for your teams. And also, I did title this video three players in each position, but there are some um, positions that I've put a few extra, mainly because it's too tough for me to decide, or because, let's say, it's like a left mid position. So it's left mid and also left wing. So it's such a wide kind of variation of um, positions that it'd be, t it'd be kind of unfair to pick only just one. So for left mid and left wingers and right mid and right wings and strikers, I picked two. So let's start with the goalkeepers now. I guess take this with a pinch of salt because, not gonna lie, most goalkeepers kind of all perform the same. So I've just chose one per price range here. So we got for cheap, um, Fabianski. I imagine that most of you guys would want like a, a BPL kind of team. So I'm giving you guys a Fabianski for the Premier League. So there you go. Non rare. It'd be very cheap. About 1 2k very early on. Mid tier would be Golaski. I've put him in mid tier because. I don't think many of you guys will be quite aware of him, but he's got very good stats all around his card. There's no, like, stat, you know, like, that's on, like, 70 positioning. Because sometimes they can be a goalkeeper with, like, very good stats, but, like, poor handling or, like, poor positioning. He's a very good all-around card. And, of course, you may not even think about it because he's quite new because he's been upgraded quite big this year. And in the net, there's Oblak. Now, of course, you could have Courtois or De Gea. For mid-tier, it could be Leno or it could be, um, you know, I guess Edison would be more elite. Mid-tier could also be Chesney for Serie A. Some cheap options could be Lafont um, in Liga, a good French goalkeeper. But I don't think it's that important to really hype up goalkeepers because they're, they're kind of hit or miss no matter who you pick. So these are just some bets that I think you find useful. So let's get into the right back. So for the right back option, we've got two cheap options here. Um, I also, when doing this, would like to try and get a good variety of different leagues. So it's not just, you know, all BPL. I want to try and get like a few different leagues in it. Cheap, I've got two different leagues here. I've got um, Babu from Bundesliga, a very, very good card. And he'd be worth less than 10k, I imagine, for the start of the game. Um, yeah, after like, let's say, early October. And then Mokoit from Serie A. I think that's how you say his name. I may butcher it. Solid, all-round, good right back. Got some good pace. And it's very important to have some decent all-round defensive and physical attributes. And he has that as well. Mid-tier option, it's a tough one. You could have De Costa in the Bundesliga. It'd be very good. But Pereira, I'll see his mid-tier because there's not that many high-rated right-backs in the game. Pereira for PPO teams, very good right-back, which is good in all positions. Good dribbling as well, and it would do a job. Another shout was Nelson Semedo, and the Barcelona right-back for instead of Pereira. However, Pereira has much, much better passing than him. He'd be a good option for mid-tier as well. And then elite-tier, Kyle Walker. It's either him or Cancelo for the obvious two best right-backs in the game. I guess it's your own personal taste. I feel like Walker's a safer bet because he's always been a very good right-back every single FIFA. He's got more strength, better jumping. Cancelo's better at passing and dribbling, but yet Kyle Walker's better at defending and physicality. Left backs, we've also got two cheap options. We've got Kieran Tierney at Arsenal and Hakimi from Dortmund. Um, there's a few good left backs, actually. There's Scholes as well for Dortmund. But yeah, Hakimi and Tierney, very good cards for your starter team. So imagine maybe 
Tierney could maybe push above 10k because he's from Premier League. But let's say, you know, later on, because I want this video to be helpful for not just the start of the game, but also for later on in FIFA. So i say it'd be cheap by then, so it'd be like 4, 5, 3k in like October. Um, so yeah, Tierney and Hakimi for your Bundesliga and also BPL teams. Um, I think Bundesliga and BPL are by far the best leagues um, in terms of top 5 leagues especially, um, which is good to make teams with because there's so many good players and you'll find that out the more we get into this video. Uzalon as my mid-tier option, I think that he's a very good card and there's not too many like insane left backs either. I would probably say Tellez, however I feel like because of his league, it may not be used that much. However, if you have some good Brazilian players around him, Tellez would be a very good option as well. But maybe you could push Elite because Elite option is 85 Alexandro. I would put Sandro as the best left back in the game above, let's say, Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba is more faster, but when it comes to physical battles, when it comes to jumping in the air, back post headers, Sandro's the best player for that as of right now for the start of the game. If you do want a La Liga option, don't forget about uh, Mendy. Mendy, the Real Madrid left back now that moved from Lyon to Real Madrid. I would put him in. But maybe him instead of Ruzalon for the mid-tier, maybe. But because of his rating, it was kind of awkward. So I didn't really know where to put him in terms of cheap or mid. So don't forget about Mendy as well for Real Madrid. Centre-backs, I just stuck with one per price range. And here we go. Let's go to the cheap option, which is... Konate from Red Bull Leipzig. There's so many good French Red Bull Leipzig center backs. It's insane. Um, Upper Mencano is one. Um, six foot four, good work rates, very good pace, very good defending, and very good physical. And because he's quite low rated, it'd be passed more often. So, as a cheap player for his height and good work risk, because sometimes you may have a good player on card based stats, but his actual like, height could be like five foot. 11 or 6 foot. He's got the height. Mid-tier, I put Manolas. Probably the best mid-tier. Centre-back there is by a mile. Very good stats all around and he's fast as well and he can head the ball and he's quite tall with good work rate. So Manolas for me is by far the best mid-tier centre-back there is you can get. And then Elite. It's no doubt it has to be Virgil van Dijk. By far the best centre-back in the game. It's not even a contest here. Like there's Ramos as well which could compete but no one competes to Van Dijk. So Van Dijk by far the most elite Centre back this year. DDM. And we've got two from the Premier League and one from the Bundesliga. Of course, as I said earlier, there's a lot of players here, which is from BPO and Bundesliga. They're just two very good leagues this year. Very strong leagues. Cheap option I put in Kababin from Everton. Good pace, good physicality, good defending. And he's also tall as well for a CDM. So as a player, which you would ideally want to, you know, sit back, uh, win aerial battles. So I think we'll see him a lot. Imagine him as like a Bakayoko from like back in FIFA 17. I would imagine it would just be like that again. So mid-tier will be Axel Witzel. Again, I don't think you can really compete with him. Um, all round stats for CDM, very good. He's tall as well, and he can dribble, he can pass the ball, he can defend, and he can also shoot as well. And he's not the slower. So all round for mid tier CDM, he's probably one of the best players you can get. The only player that I was debating here was Fabinho for Liverpool because of his height, he will outshine. Someone like Witzel. However, the kind of slowness of Fabino, especially this year, which I think dribbling and passing is much more important than last year. Fabino may be a bit slow, like Snorlax, when it comes to dribbling with a ball, which I can see that as maybe an issue. And also in the top I put Kante, which again I was debating because Kante for CDM. He's good, but also he's got some, you know, pretty big um, negatives. You know, he's quick, he's quite small, so you can't really win headers. However, when it comes to just running around and tracking back, he is the man that you want. Other good options is for Ligon, um, it's just a Ghana gay. And also for Dortmund, there's also Delaney, which is a bit of a worse version of Witzel, but is also a very good card as well. Next up, center mids, and this is when it gets tough. And this is what I went with, two options for cheap. Price range. I went for Zakaria for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Very, very good stats. Also, I put in Musa Sissoko. It could be Sissoko or it could be um, Tangai and Dombele. They're both very similar. They're both they're pretty much the same card. Just one's a bit taller than the other. And I couldn't fit him in, but Aura, the league earned centre mid. Do not forget about him as well. He's a very good CM. But a mid option, I feel like there's only one guy in his Goretzka. He's the perfect package for 
everything that you need in midfield. He can, he, he's a workhorse. He's tall. He's six foot two. He can win headers. It can also run with the ball. It can also shoot. It can pass. Box to box type that can do absolutely everything. What can I say, man? Bundesliga and Premier League has too many insane options. If you want some other league options for mid tier, I could recommend the likes of Rabio for PSG or Alan the Napoli centre mid as well. And then the elite tier. For me, no one else competes as a better CN than Paul Pogba. He's a perfect all-round package. He can run, he can pass, he can shoot, he can head. He's got the height. Most perfect all-round centre midfielder in. And now we have the centre attacking midfielders. And by the way, this is only cams. Um, centre forwards have their own category, don't worry. And before I hear people say Ja Felix, don't worry, he's in the next one. So, cheap options are putting Murain and Madison. And this is because I realised that there's been... Pretty much no La Liga options at all. So I felt bad. So Munayin is actually a very good shout for starting because he's got very good dribbling. And dribbling is so important for like the first few games, first few days and weeks of FIFA. And next to him, James Madison. I feel like I had to put like a like a Premier League option in there. So Madison, um, one of the best cheap options for BPL teams for Cam. Up next, mid-tier. No one else can compete with him. It's Havertz. Height, pace. Four star weak foot, four star skill moves. He's got the full package, man. I was debating putting Alejandro Gomez and uh, Atalanta Cam, um, 85 rated. I really do like him myself, but I feel like for most people, they may prefer Havertz because of his strength and also height. So, Gomez, if you do want a CVA team, he's also a very good shout. And an elite, I found it tough between De Bruyne or Marco Royce, but I went with Marco Royce because he has the same dribbling, better shooting, he's faster. But, of course, De Bruyne has the five-star weak foot and better passing, of course. So, I was debating De Bruyne or Royce. So, it's take your pick on what you prefer. For me, it'd be Royce because he's faster. He can shoot better and better dribbling. And now, the centre forwards. We've got one in each tier. And for cheap tier, I've put Ja Felix. Now, you may say, oh, well, but look at him. He won't be cheap. It'd be relatively cheap, let's say, your know, October time, your know, early October. I imagine he'd be less than 10k. Or maybe around the edge, like 12, 12k maybe. But he won't be that expensive because he is 80 rated. Therefore, let's say when the first foot champions or div rivals rewards comes out, it'd be packed quite off. Ja Felix is pretty obviously the best cheap option you could go with for centre forward. Mid tier, I put in uh, the pie. Don't know why, I kind of felt like the safe bet because he's strong as well and he's got good dribbling and passing and he can shoot and he can run. So I think for mid tier, I think he'd be the most suitable. And in elite tier, I put in Human Son. Um, there was the likes of Mertens and Griezmann and Firmino, but I think Son would suit most people. Griezmann, I think, could be worth a bit too much for what I think he's actually worth. I think Son is just an all round perfect package, five star weak foot as well. Do not forget about that and is in a very popular league. If you're thinking about mid-tier, um, Zaha or Lucas Moura are also good shouts. And now we get into a big, big zone here, and that is a left mid and left wing zone. And I've put two cheap, two mid and one elite, because I feel like there's only one real proper option here. So cheap, I put in um, Christian Tello and also Vincent Jr. Both the legal options, I feel like both of these two Oh, give me great. And will also be quite cheap all around. Anyway, mid tier, I put in Felipe Anderson and Promise. Now, I was thinking Martial maybe for Felipe Anderson, but I think Martial is a bit too obvious and you guys already know about him. So I put in Anderson here because I liked him a lot. I, and I mean a lot back in FIFA um, 19. His finesse shots were unreal. And he has got better dribbling than Martial. Of course, Martial has got better physicals than him. Promise as well has got five star skills, four star weak foot. Um, the only option I think that is not in any top five leagues, in fact. So. Fair play to him. But he's Dutch, so he can link it to the likes of the pie as well if you make a hybrid of him. And also elite tier, I put in Neymar. I was thinking maybe Hazard, but the weak foot of Neymar, the five star weak foot and also five star skill moves, is just so massive that I don't think Hazard can really compete in that kind of area. So Neymar for me is the most elite left sided um, player in the entirety of FIFA for me. I don't think it's close really. And of course, you have a good left hand side, so why not a good right hand side? And let's go with the right midfielders and wing. And we put in the likes of Saint Maximum and also Lozano for the cheap options. Now Lozano, I was debating would he be cheap, um, but I snuck him in there. He's maybe just a bit, maybe above 10k, 15k. 
maybe 20 for the start, but I think he'll go down and down and down. So, say maximum for the pure starter BPL teams for the start of the game. He'd be worth a bit to the start, but he'll go down very, very fast, I imagine, because of his rating. So, maximum for BPL teams or French teams is the one. He's the one that you want for the right hand side. For mid, I put in. Usman Dembele and Nabri. So um, Dembele has got some mad like skill moves and also weak foot. Usman Dembele has got five star weak foot, five star skill moves with the pace as well and dribbling and good links. He's the he's the perfect mid tier player for this kind of countdown. And Nabri, it was either between him or Jadon Sancho. And Nabri may not have uh, the better dribbling compared to Sancho, but Nabri's got ten plus better shooting stats, which I feel like is a lot more. Um, helpful for him. Another good shot is Pepe for Arsenal. I was thinking maybe him, but I think Naby's better than Pepe. And then the elite. It just is Messi. You could say Salah, you could say Sterling, but or maybe even Bale, but Messi's Messi and with that dribbling, I feel like it'd be a lot more useful this year because of the way the gameplay is made. So, Messi, he just is elite option. I think it'd be, it'd be kind of rude if he isn't. So, Messi, elite. And now we are on to the strikers, and here we go. Let's go. So, cheap options. We've got Rebic and Wilson. Both of these will be about you know, 10k or under after the first week or so of the game. Uh, both got pace. Both can shoot. Both can dribble. Good all-round stats. And I imagine they'd be very vital for a lot of star teams for FIFA 20. Um, Mid tiers, I've got Inaki Williams and Rashford. Again, I can say the same thing over and over again. Both got the perfect stats that you would imagine that you'd want for these kind of roles. So both would be worth around, like I said, like 30, 40k, 50k maybe. Um, about you know, around the first week or so. And then the elite. I was gonna have Mbappe, but I feel like I kind of I kind of need Ronaldo as well. But Mbappe, I think I, you know, in itself as a striker is just as good and will be seen so much like by the time we hit like November of foot champions because like it'd be everyone's like main go-to striker for a lot of like foot champions teams before they get to a Ronaldo it'd be like the main guy before Ronaldo I imagine because he's got everything there you go lads that is the best OP players in every single position in FIFA 20 ultimate team let me know if you guys did find this helpful if you're new here please subscribe it'll mean absolute world and smash the like button that'll make me happy and um, yeah guys hope you guys did enjoy thank you guys for watching my name is Vizal see you next time